Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. All right, putting on the gear case. So, what you're gonna wanna do is, we're fortunate enough to where we can use a forklift, so. But what you wanna do, you're gonna get some debris in your gear housing, so unfortunately, but you wanna clean your lip. I, I When I, I went to go put it on, I'm like, holy shit, I didn't even clean this, so shame on me. So I'm just warning you guys, don't, I almost forgot to clean this up and put the RTV silicone on it. So they don't make a gasket for it. Obviously, it'd be too too nasty and too big. But you're going to want to clean up everything really nice all the way around. So you're going to want to do that and then spray it down with uh, brake cleaner. And then... I used a cutting wheel with a, um, a wire wheel on it. So I already did, yeah, I painted my front gear case, but it's already freaking nicked up. So I got it flipped over because I wanted, to, I, I'll explain, I'm gonna put you on pause. All right, so I, flipped, I had it flipped over because I cleaned this as well with a wire wheel as well. It was pretty nasty. So I'm gonna wipe it down one more time, but I had it flipped over so I could drain off all the, uh, the brake cleaner that was settling into the bottom of this because when you go to put it up i gotta muscle this in there i don't have it again i'm doing it by myself so um i can't uh i gotta have everything set so i don't want anything you know what i'm saying pouring down in there so that's why i flipped it up so i can rewipe this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm using a red RTV, no, it's not old and credit. I just got overspray on it. Uh, it's actually new. So this is what you're going to be using, and get a get a a, a, a cube a tube a cube, get a tube of caulk because you're going to use quite a bit of it. Now, when you put this on, you're going to go make sure you're you know you're. I think you have to be on your outside. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on pretty gen generously. So. It does squeeze or it does squish in there. I'd rather have too much than too little. Um, <clears throat> so, and then when you get down to the bottom here, you're only going to go to this edge because the oil pan gasket will seal the bottom of it. So, I'm hoping that I got my two, that guide there and that guide down there. So, I'm hoping I can get lucky on the first try. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to squ uh, squirt it on here. I already got it all cleaned off again with brake cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the RTV silicone on there. And then I'm going to let it set up and tack up a little bit. And uh, and then I'll put you guys on pause and we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah, I got way more on there than I need. But my caulk gun kept getting stuck on my condenser, on my radiator. So I was kind of, it, it was just kind of coming out too too fast on the caulk gun so i went around the whole entire bolt bolt hole yeah i know it's way too much i know i know uh that's what she said so anyways um way way too much but it, it's too late now i'm not going to smear it off so i'm going to let it tack up for about a half hour and then um i'll grab my gear case and muscle her on so uh, like I said, I know it's too much. Don't make fun. Uh, you're not here with me. So, um, anyways, so that's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to put you guys, I can't really put you guys on pause. I got a guy coming to rent my forklift. And like I said, on my phone, um, it doesn't let me black the screen out. So, basically, my, my screen stays on the whole entire time when I pause it. I don't know why it does that. So, anyways, so I'm going to end the video here. But like I said, pretty much... I mean, the, the 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 gear case weighs, I don't know, 70 pounds-ish, somewhere in there. And I should have enough room. I mean, I got it off by myself, so um, I just, I, like I said, I'm waiting for it to tack up so it's not smearing all over the damn place. And what I did was, you can see on my fork right there, I got a few bolts. So once I get them in, I'll go ahead and zip them down. And uh, I won't torque it down. Like I said, gasket maker, what they want you to do is when you, when you put it, when you put the, the the part on or whatever where it meets the the gasket maker the the manufacturer says just hand tighten it down snug it up 
and then wait for it. it says 48 or 24 hours like i said i always wait 48 to 72 I, i'm not firing this truck up until probably sunday anyways and it's friday so i got a few days so once i once i'll i'll go ahead and put you know all the bolts in it just hand tighten snug snug them up and then uh once I go to torque it all down, then it will actually, they say it's better that way. Don't ask me why. I'm not a mechanic. I don't pretend to be one. So anyways, I'm not worried about my anything. But like I said, don't don't uh, forget to do your cleaning in your gasket maker or your RTV silicone. And like I said, clean, clean both very well. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So... Anyways, good luck, guys. I uh, hope these videos are, are informative for you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.